you're muted at the moment, but can you hear Hello. us? Yes, you can. Yes. It was a pretty uh, uneventful game, but all we really want to know is what the hell was that drop about? The drop? Uh... Yeah. We watched it. Let me paint the picture for you here, man. AMS comes in, he looks up, sees the stickies, and he shoots one. Then he sort of walks forward. Yeah, uh, did, he not, not did, he not tell you? did he not tell you the stickies were there? Uh, the comms were like a bit messy, but the comms were start called, they were sticky PC. And I only saw the stickies in front, which he was clearing out. And then he said he's gonna go. And he yeah. just walked through. So I was like, okay, there's no sticky days probably. So I just went. And then I dropped. I don't, I don't blame you all there, man. I feel like it was per information from your team. Per yeah, communication. It, was, it was a bit messy comes. That's the only thing. So uh, how did you feel about the game overall? It seemed really easy from our perspective. Were you guys having fun or was it just like another day at the office? No, we had fun. The comes were like for once this week really, really good. Uh, because we have been playing with Sebusai on Pocket um, Monday, Tuesday, half Tuesday. So we changed there a little bit. Comes were differently. And then we changed back again. And today the comms were really good. We played with Sappies yesterday too because Am's uh, graphic card is a bit broken. Okay. Is that why um, Zebu was in Pocket? Or was this a, another no, reason? We, no, we picked Stock. And the idea in the beginning was just to have him on. Um, on Scout and Sebus mm -hmm. go pocket, and then uh, Stock wanted to try Roma, so we let him do that, and uh, we let him do that for two weeks or one week, and then afterwards we wanted to try Sebus back again and see which one works the best, and um, we find out that Stock on Roma is the better choice for the team. Yeah, I'm supposed to doing really well in pocket as well, like top damage both maps. You guys uh, definitely have some chemistry building up over last season and this one. Uh, what are your prospects then? Like, what's your sort of team goal, I guess, for this season? What are you aiming for? Playoffs? You want the Playoffs, gold medal this time? Yeah, everyone says they want the gold medal, so I trust them. They're gonna do it. I think we can make it really. Ams is picking up everything with the calling and things. Uh, Stark called a lot tonight, and it was really, really easy for our main units to play. If we play like today, uh, I think we can go far. But we need to be like this every single day we're playing as well. We saw some great coordination, especially on Badlands, between your flank and your combo. Like there were some sick plays there where like your flank was wrapping around. Is that something that Stark brings to the game where he's like really clear in what he wants to do on the flank, or is that just the sort uh, of chemistry? Yeah, he calls he pretty much called everything he was doing tonight. So that was a really big uh, step for him to bring up there in the officials. Um I think the comps were really, really clear. It normally gets really, really messy. Everyone is like speaking, but tonight mm -hmm. it was more like just me and Stark and Ruben Ams just calling focus targets and some stuff they see. So it was really, really nice to play tonight. Can I ask you a question then about your uh, personal situation? I know you had a lot of back issues in the past. Is that something that you're... Uh, I remember you saying you were going to have surgery at some point. Is that something that's happened or is that still coming yeah, up Yeah, no, I had it... Um... Last year, during with Doctor, the first season there when I was roaming, right? I had the surgery there, and uh, uh, yeah, it's not really been much better after the summer. It kind of been like standing still. The progress is starting to move a little bit more forward, so I still got the pain, but not as much. And I'm just medic still, so I don't need to snapshot or anything, move a lot like a crazy maniac. So. It's not affecting your game too much? No, not really. It shouldn't. I'm not aiming now, so I'm just healing. You're not going to use it as an excuse, like Kiris? No. I mean, I can, you know, I can have a bad day. <laughs> yeah. but I, just blame, I just blame the comms or the, my teammates. Because I'm, I'm like, I found it out like two weeks ago. I was like, what the fuck, I'm so ridiculous. Because I, it was the show match, actually. Because uh, Ams asked for Uber on um, Trash. And yeah. I didn't Uber him, and he went in, and I was just pressing W, staring at him, and I didn't even pop, I didn't focus on anything else, so it was kind of stupid. All I had, reach, abs, and pop. Reach, abs, and pop. I didn't reach him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, pop and reach him. It, it works too. So yeah, I, I need to fix that. <laughs> That's like, why I drop, I guess. No. Uh... I really enjoyed that show match. This game today was a, a little different, but I'm excited to see BK playing well. Yeah, uh, next, next week is going to be probably one of the best 
the France is back, you know? The French is versus us. I gotta ask then, uh, what's the deal with Rib? You know, he's, he's still struggling to get these high damage numbers. Has he ad adjusted to the sticky nerf yet? Yeah, I think so. I just think, like, Rib has always been the guy who does the damage when it's needed. And because of the nerf now a little bit, it's not as much as before, you know? I just think it's that, like that. The only issue he is having sometimes is that he's overextending. But it's so fun to play with Rib because he's like, oh shit, my bad guys. So, yeah, he knows when he's doing wrong. I guess things like that. The dog's just not saying any everything. I know that many people actually like PM me like, oh, what, what, what's wrong with Rube? But he still does his job. Um, so I can't say much more than that. Have you guys played LEGO in practice at all in the pre-season? We have never played LEGO. Uh, we only played them when we were in Dutter. So Anz was like confused how they play. They were like, oh my god, is this... How <laughs> they have their play is boring, you know? They had their balance, like 70% Uber Advanced, maybe 50, and they didn't use it. That's when Nams got a bit confused. So, uh, you've seen them play then this one time, what do you think of their prospects for the season? Well, they need to, like, build up some balls to bonus, you know? They're, they're just, like, playing passive, they're not really focusing too much on offensive play. Um, if they have a small Uber Advanced, they should just go in and use it, and if it's going badly, well, maybe you get the point, because the scouts are focusing on the point and fall back. I think they need to change that. Otherwise, they're not going to go too far. Yeah, we saw that actually on Badlands. There was like a play you had made maybe a few minutes before where they had Helberg snipers, so you guys just like Ubered out on main and jumped straight to choke and denied them, uh, denied their sniper, and actually Stark came behind and crushed them. But in the same situation, they had Uber advantage and you had a sniper. And as soon as they heard Zebesai fire that first shot, they just went back to lobby and they just. Oh, that's to, like, why they didn't push. Oh my god, okay. That makes sense. Pussy out. Like, they, yeah. just, uh, they lost their cool, they went back and held, and then their last hold field, like. But yeah, I totally agree with you. Uh, so, I've got to ask you then, Nutsen, before we wrap things up. Who do you see as, uh, you know, your main contenders? How's it going in practice? Who who are you losing against? Who are you beating? Uh, the sort of top five or six there. Yeah, we've been changing a lot. So, uh, you know, I don't have the, like, the biggest brain memory. So I don't keep it up there. But I, I think Reason is going to be, like, the biggest competition. Uh, Uber Sexual, you know, they're changing as well. Numlock or whatever, I don't know if he's gonna play or not. You know, they don't have a really a demo man at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Numlock. Uh, so, yeah, we had some more rumors about that team as well, so we don't know how the lineup is gonna be. The main Tell lineup. me the gossip, because I haven't really been online so much. Uh, I guess uh, from other people. So like, what's, what have you heard? Like, I want to hear your secondhand gossip. What's happened in Uber Sexuals? Why did War leave? And why have they gone for Numlock as the replacement? Uh, <laughs> well, there could be tons of reasons why War left, but I guess, like, the nicest way to say is this yeah, War got tired of them, man. I don't know. I, he left. He wasn't yeah, kicked, but, but he know, decided to leave. His playstyle is a lot with playing far back and shooting stickies, you know, and doing damage like that. <laughs> and then, then he was watching his logs, probably. I can't remember his logs, and he saw the damage is low, so he said, fuck this, demo man is boring, I can't do the same damage anymore, I don't look good on logs, and then he wanted to change. It's sort of sad to see, because he could, could make that link, you know, that the sticky nerf has made demo man less interesting for him to play, so he decided to uh, leave the class. I think there's more analysis to be done on that sticky nerf. There is a thread on Team Forest TV started by Mustard Overlord examining it. I didn't read it all, but uh, I like it maybe. though, to be honest. Uh, I yeah. think it's like more fair. Say. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the demo man needs to play a little bit more aggressive. You know, he, he can't just stay fall back and deal damage. There's only one demo though? Should we be uh, no, removing no, no. the demo one limit? Demo should, it be, should it be CL2? No. One demo only. I mean, we we played Numlock uh, yesterday, and uh, everyone in my team said Numlock is hitting every fucking sticky. We don't even feel the nerf. I quoted uh, Sebusai there. So, yeah, you know, still not nerfed enough, according to Sebusai, when Numlock is playing. So, you know, <laughs> he just need to hit every shot. Maybe he brought his old stickies with him, you know, he hasn't played in a while. Maybe he's, he's just got a stop yeah. player. Fucking Shida. Okay, you got, so, you got uh, the splash uh, support aimbot, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I 
I'm just going to take a quick look here and see who your next fixture is. It's going to be against Le France. Oh, the Frenchies. Yeah, but... I can't even pronounce their new name. Yeah, I call it Le France. That's what I say every time. Every time. Uh, we don't know if we're going to play next week, though. Uh, the Frenchies can't play, and uh, they want to play on Monday, but they are going to ask that. I mean, so we will see when it happens. Okay, then. There are going to be two more, well, three more Week 1 games, but there's two of them happening uh, tomorrow on Thursday. I think we're going to try and do a double cast here. It's going to be Eshock versus Reason. That's Eshock with the Mool now instead of Bod for the officials. And Lavant Garde de Pluvron. I'm going to make a meal of that one against Lethal Weapon. So Frenchies against Reason and Frenchies against Russians. Uh, both games happen at the same time tomorrow. We'll try and get the double stream up for you then on Sunday. There's going to be C play against Uber Sexuals, and that's maybe at the same time as Archimedes Cup. So potentially another double stream going on there. Uh, but there's definitely going to be a lot more TF2 action. Uh, Dashner could probably tell us as well. Let me look at the the events. Actually, there's nothing scheduled at the minute, but the NA coverage team are doing a great job of producing that North American coverage. I uh, must remind everyone to check out the fundraiser. I'm going to paste it in chat again. Uh, this is the ETFL Season 20 fundraiser where everyone can contribute. It's currently at... 2,609 euros. There's a variety of perks there. There's even one where you can get Sideshow to cast your game. And someone else has picked one up. I'm impressed by that, actually. But another thing that I still haven't managed to write an article for is that the person who donates the most over the course of this fundraiser will receive Darn's official Dignitas shirt from I-43 as given to me and cherished for years. I'm prepared to give it up. Currently, I think the highest bidder... The, the highest total donations from one person is like 251 euros and that's by Jason SC I think I'm not entirely sure of that name but uh, yeah if you want to get that, get bidding I'm, I might come the big bid again to win my own shirt back but uh, just uh, want to remind everyone about that fundraiser, I'm going to keep hammering on at that quick Where question Sorry, yeah, go ahead. has the shirt been washed? Yeah, it actually was fucking stinking when I got it. Like, <laughs> I can imagine. He's, he's a sweaty guy. He'd probably been wearing it for the three days of LAN. But he uh, wanted to give it to me. I probably shouldn't have washed it, you know. It would have been worth more. Or more valuable to some people. You could clone yourself and you're done with that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. Like I say, more casts coming up. Shout out to Dashner, who rushed home to do camera for this game and Ryushi coming back on the mic. He still got it. Thanks to Knutson as well for joining us for interview. And that was a very quick game. I appreciate that. But thank you and good night.